Hey good people, it is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about what I am wearing for spring, specifically my spring capsule wardrobe. In case you don't know, I am a big believer in a capsule wardrobe. It is a set of pieces that you interchange for a particular season. And for me, in the way my mind is set up, in the way my spending habits are set up, if I don't check myself, I will literally wreck myself, y'all. I will just spend and consume ad nauseum. So in order to kind of put Pull that impulse back. I like to get excited about what I already have, add a couple new pieces in, and then make it do what it do for the season, okay? So in today's video, I am going to share with you what's new. I am going to mix and match what is behind me. I got about 13 pieces or so. If that sounds good to you, make sure you keep watching. Let's go. Let me just say that throughout the whole video, I am going to be wearing the same jewelry. I am wearing today a pair of earrings. These are from Madewell in my first hole. Second hole is Bobble Bar. You all have probably seen all of these either on Instagram. If you're not following me, sis, fix that right here. Follow me, okay? Um, or in my jewelry collection video. I also have on my ring from David Yerman. You already know my engagement ring and then my new um, Cartier Just On Clue bracelet. So that is what you're going to see me wearing throughout all of the different outfits that I'm wearing today. I'll make sure I link what I can down below. Let's get started first with what I am wearing today because I am so excited. Okay, let me go back. So I said that I wanted to focus more on designer ready to wear. I wanted to fall in love or go back to my original love, which was and has always been ready to wear. I remember being a little girl watching fashion TV on our like old floor model TV, having my hands under my chin and just being enamored by the models and the designers, all of it. Even now, give me a good fashion documentary, a good fashion based novel, a good fashion historical text and I'm all in. And usually, as we know, most design houses start with ready to wear. However, for everyday consumers, it may not be like the biggest bulk of what we love to wear from a particular brand. And I think it's just because handbags and shoes are so easy. They're interchangeable. They typically have the logo on them. Y'all already know, it's just the lowest hanging fruit. And I wanted to move beyond that to start investing in more luxury ready to wear. And so I am wearing on the top my uh, brand new Fendi linen shirt. Um, it is, we might call this a shawl collar, meaning that there is no collar, so it's collarless, <laughs> button down in the front, but I have it tied in the middle here, um, and then a pair of high-waisted Bermuda shorts on the bottom. It is a matching set, and I am in love with it. All right, so let me show you what else is on the rack. Now, because I love a good basic with a twist, I also have, and you all maybe saw this in a previous Capsule Wardrobe video or Style With Me video, um, a club model. Monaco silk cami. This is the kind of perfect layering piece y'all that you can wear with pretty much anything. You can put a denim jacket over it. You can put a trench coat on it. You can wear it by itself. You can put a cardigan on. I have also two other camis, one black and one leopard. And but depending on the season, I am going to put one of those camis in rotation. It's just simple, easy, does what needs to be done. Next up for this season, I went for a lighter wash denim, and these are my jeans from One Teaspoon. I love them because they are a bit distressed, which is great. Um, also, they have like a few bleach stains on them. As I mentioned, they are a lighter wash. And I just think things like this, like the bottom, make denim so interesting. So I love these. They're more of a relaxed, kind of like a boyfriend fit denim. Not my typical high-waisted, but I think these are going to be it. I think that I'm going to go for like more of a relaxed vibe um, this spring and the one teaspoon denim are going to be a great addition to my spring capsule wardrobe. Speaking of luxury, ready to wear, I also have my brand new Jacquemus shirt, which I got on vacation in Cali at a little boutique in Echo Park. I don't even remember the name, but I checked and I noticed that this was a runway piece. If I didn't mention it, my Fendi set is also a runway piece. So, you know, just kind of feeling myself, I think for, you know, the first time really making an intention to shop luxury ready to wear, 
I did pretty good being that I scored two runway pieces before I even realized that they were runway. Like I was drawn to them and then I said, oh shoot, these were actually on the runway. Anyway, so I feel special. Um, but this shirt is linen. It has these really cool like, I guess, stitched stripes or like boxes, like a, a plaid weaving into the shirt but it's in white it's in white um stitching and it is asymmetrical on the bottom which Jacquemus is known for collared shirt has a little tab in the back i mean even with what i'm wearing today because i am wearing the high-waisted bermuda shorts it's just so so good next up you would have seen in my luxury haul from south florida i have my loewe high waisted like wide leg trousers i do want to get away from wearing so much denim which is why the bermuda shorts that i'm wearing in these pants i think are going to be clutch this season i also have my aritzia high waisted shorts with the belt attached well not attached but it comes with the belt um these are by their brand called babaton they are a size six i probably need to eight now um but i fell in love with these during quarantine i got these in a bodysuit by babaton and it probably was one or both uh, of the best purchases that i made in 2020 definitely pulling these back out for this season and then recently I decided that I wanted to make sure that I was keeping like fresh basics in my wardrobe. White t-shirts for me are of course a staple, but a white t-shirt also, you're probably gonna have to reinvest in at least once a year and I was due for a new white tee. So I got this one by Madewell. Now on those days when I want a little, some extra, I don't know what this is, like a little je ne sais quoi, that's something, that's what that is. <laughs> Then I would go for a pair of pants like this. These are from H&M. I actually have a matching jacket to go with them, but the jacket is very thick. I wish I would have gotten it in a similar fabric to the pants. Nevertheless, the pants are wide leg, palazzo fit. Definitely gonna look really cute with either a blazer or a simple tee. Now I grabbed this blazer from ASOS last year and I barely wore it because obviously we were at the height of the pandemic. Rona was definitely in the streets. And so this year I want to make sure that I'm giving her the love that she deserves. It is a linen and lined blazer from ASOS. ASOS sometimes y'all will come through in a clutch. I mean I'm somebody who you already know. I'm really a fabric snob <laughs> and I try to make sure that I'm mixing different kind of textiles in my wardrobe but i found this blazer for like i think 40 or 50 bucks and it definitely has been a really good investment even though i haven't been able to wear it a lot that's gonna change that is going to change i will be fully vaccinated very soon and i'm gonna be out i'm gonna be outside and this blazer is coming with me and what would a capsule wardrobe be without a very simple button down white shirt but this one from cos has a twist in that it also has a collar that is attachable which i may put on for a few, a few of the outfits. So you can either wear it as a Mandarin collar or you can wear it with a traditional style collar, which I think is just so smart. Um, it's kind of long, a bit oversized, definitely a really, really good basic to have in your wardrobe. And I think costs, y'all, they come through with the heat with basics. Definitely recommend this one. Speaking of something else that has been in my wardrobe but has not got the love that it deserves, is this pair of denim bell bottoms y'all um i have these are by mother and i've only worn these to shoot and i think in like an instagram video or a reel so we need to take these outside in real life you know what i mean because <laughs> they're so good these are a size 29 by the way they're not quite high waisted they're more mid-rise they're slightly distressed and mother probably just for the sake of conversation is one of my favorite denim brands hands down i have two pair of mother jeans um and they both actually are kind of non-traditional cuts but they just feel so good something about like the weave of the denim child mother gets right okay i mean that sounds like i'm talking about someone's mother but mother denim gets right um and i'm also into the little like knee rip here yeah Definitely gonna wear these a lot this spring. And last but not least, the jumpsuit that made Instagram go crazy is this Gucci jumpsuit. Now I may or may not wear it this season with the belt, okay? Cause I think it's a vibe, it's a wave even without it. I mean, this would be so cute with just a cute pair of flat sandals, a little handbag clutch and being on your way. And then 
If you're going out for brunch or you're going out for drinks, you hit them with the heat with the Gucci belt. Either way, I love jumpsuits or play suits and this one is one that I had to bring into spring. I am not going to include shoes and jewelry, um, handbags, etc into my capsule wardrobe because I mix and match those things so often it doesn't make sense to kind of consider them to be part of one season however I did want to share with you two scarves and a belt that will definitely be getting a lot of wear first up is this Gucci scarf which you all probably saw in my video that it's all about how to shop luxury more affordably this scarf was $150 at the Gucci outlet and I love it it is silk um, I think the colors obviously go well with the color palette that I'm doing for spring and and I'm probably honestly going to wear her as a top and I'll show you how in this video. Then we have my favorite, the Hermes kind of bandana sized scarf. This one I think looks so good with the horse fit. It looks good around the neck. It looks good. I tied it around my head when I was in Palm Springs. I mean, I'm not going to be doing that in Alexandria, but you get the vibe, right? <laughs> like it does all the things. And once again, even with tan, I feel like the black and the white is going to give it like a little bit of an interesting pop with the pattern. And then the last thing, which is new y'all, is the V logo belt. So I got this at the Beverly Hills Valentino store on Rodeo Drive. Was so excited to treat myself with this belt because I fell in love with it in January and I was online trying to find it, trying to find it, specifically the one that as you can see here, hopefully I am in focus, the one that is here that has the um, hammered logo so I was so excited when I found it in Beverly Hills and as with all of the V logo belts this one one side of it is white smooth leather and the other side is like a black pebbled leather which I love so you can wear it on either side by simply popping out the little piece right there so definitely gonna get a lot of wear this season with this um, I played around with trying to wear it on the white side I don't know how I feel about that yet but let's see let's let, let's see if I can make it do the thing in this video all right so those are all of the pieces that make up my spring capsule wardrobe this year let's just get started we're trying them on shall we yeah go drab a drab no go grab a drink I'm gonna get me probably a beer so I can kind of pause and get my mental together before we go into the styling you do the same I'll be right back Cheers. Oh, I just realized I forgot to tell y'all that my necklace is from Bobble Bar, if I didn't say that already. Let's get started. Wait, let me. It's pretty good. And that is it y'all thank you so much for watching this video if you made it to the end you might as well join the tribe subscribe give it a big thumbs up 
Poops is here also supporting the subscribe movement. So, you know, go ahead and make sure you do that, friend. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. I will see y'all across the internet. Peace.